If you have a GAN cube and you're solving it and it miraculously just falls apart kind of like this, I have the solution for you. So let's get right into it. So while my cube is apart, I actually, it's a good time to show you also that if your cube explodes like that, and the key here is if your center piece, which is gonna be this piece right here, comes off of the cube, kind of like that, it likely means that your GES system is not properly locked into place. I can't even begin to tell you guys how often I see emails about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys really quickly how to fix it. It takes about five seconds. So if you're left with your cube looking like this, where the centerpiece is not in the puzzle, you're gonna wanna make sure to first take your centerpiece, which is gonna be this piece right here that has kind of the opening. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and then notice that there are some notches that go up and down or left and right, depending how you're looking at it. And line those notches up with your core axis. So that way the centerpiece will slide right into place like so. The next step is gonna be to get your GES spring, which is gonna be the clear thing right here with a spring inside of it. That's gonna just sit right in there around the core axis and above the centerpiece. Lastly, you have the GES nut, which is gonna be either light blue or dark blue. And again, GAN cubes might vary slightly across the model, but it's gonna be more or less the same across different models. So this process will work for different cubes. You'll notice that on the GES nut or GTN nut, that there are a few notches that have that same up and down or left and right design, which is meant to align with the core axis. So what you're gonna wanna do is slide the GTN over the core axis, so that way it will allow you to push down all the way until the spring is fully compressed. And then all you're gonna do is rotate with your fingers, there's no tool needed for this, rotate it clockwise about 45 degrees until it locks into place. And then you'll see that it will spin and lock into the other slot, so to speak, and now there's tension on it and it will not separate. That's all it is, is you just need to make sure that your GTN nut is properly installed. Again, we see this very commonly when people start tensioning their GAN cube and they don't understand to rotate this clockwise. It can be a little bit confusing. So I hope this helped solve your problem. It solved out tons of people already and just thought, hey, this would make a good video. So hope it helped. Have a great day.